guys. So a couple days ago, we had a fun poll on our community tab, which is right here. And you guys told us what you want to see on our channel. And that's what we want. We want you guys to be happy with our content and get excited when you see a new upload. So our question was, what would you like us to do for our next fun raptor adventure? And as we said, we may combine it with a haunted video as well, or possibly randonautica because lately we've really been enjoying doing the randonauting videos. Uh, it's, it's a lot of fun and you guys seem to be enjoying it as well. Um, we try to be careful with it though, because I know some sketch things can happen sometimes. So we try to be really careful with our intentions. Once in a while though, you better believe we're going to be having some creepy intentions. So our question was, what would you like to see for our next fun adventure? And we hear you guys. 47% of you said that you'd like to see us visit a wildlife sanctuary. And you know what? We're going to be doing that real soon. But 19% of you said you wanted to see us go hunting for shark teeth. And that's where we're headed today, guys. We're going to go have some fun. 18% of you wanted to see us go kayaking. And 15% of you wanted to see us visit a theme park. So I can promise you that within the next month, we're going to be doing all of the above. So we hear you guys. And we're super excited that you're excited about our content. Let's go. What's going on, guys? So today we are headed out on an exciting raptor adventure. We are headed to Venice Beach in Florida. Gonna go try to find some Megalodon teeth. I don't know how lucky we'll be with the Meg teeth, but I can promise we're not gonna stop until we find shark teeth. I don't care if it's a little bitty one. We're still gonna bring one home and show you guys. Uh, we're gonna take the GoPro with us. So we got in the car after we packed everything up, which took us at least a good hour to pack all of our stuff. We got some really cool stuff. Um, and we got in the car. We're driving, luckily we had to get gas. The uh, tire pressure indicator gauge went off. So when we got to the gas station, Lisa was like, can you just check the tire, make sure it's all good. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna check it real quick. I looked at it and I'm not 100% sure. It looks like it was slashed though. So not very happy about this, uh, but we're gonna stop at Tire Kingdom real quick, make sure it's safe to travel with it. And if anything needs to be repaired, we're gonna go ahead and have that done. So there it is guys. That's what it looks like. Okay guys, so we are currently at a restaurant called Krakowia. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly, but it's actually a Polish restaurant. Oh, look at the bread guys. That bread looks so good. I'm getting ready to slather some butter on there and try a piece. I always love it when you have an exciting dining experience, something new. And I don't think you can get this um, menu anywhere else. No, really it's pretty unique. So we're excited. We're gonna show it to you guys as it comes out. Okay guys, this is my favorite dish here. This is called potato. <laughs> Jen's laughing. This is called potato pancakes. And these are, uh, I believe, a fried dish. And they also give you my favorite homemade applesauce with it. Oh my goodness, this is so delish. Homemade apple. Are you supposed to dip it in the applesauce? Uh, I guess you can do whatever you like. What do you generally put on your potato pancakes? Okay, inquiry minds want to know what do you generally put on potato pancakes? Uh, you usually put some kind of sour cream or something like that. Yeah, you can put a sour cream. I've seen that. Um, it's not really a pancake like a syrupy type pancake. It's more like a hearty dish. Yeah. Okay, guys. Lisa is gonna try her deliciousness. Mm. Oh my goodness, it looks so delicious. <laughs> Actually, it is delicious. I just snuck a, a little bite. Mmm, delicious. This is the beet soup with the mushroom per sets. It looks amazing. I can't wait to try it. And here is our main course. This is the salmon with rice and asparagus and a delicious caper sauce. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. Yummy. Okay guys, so it is the very next day. We got our tire replaced. We are good to go with that. Um, we are currently in Venice, Florida. Lisa's right here. <laughs> hey guys. So we are getting ready to do a randonautica. Our goal today is to find some shark teeth. Of course, we wanna find the monster of all shark teeth, the Meg Tooth. Um, and speaking to the people here where we got our equipment, a lot of times you have to be 
uh, out further in the ocean and you have to go diving. Now, they said that's not to say that it's not possible, of course. You know, they could certainly, especially in a turbulent storm, they could be washed up closer to the shore. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, turn on the Rananautica. Uh, should our intention be shark teeth or should it be the mother of all shark teeth? Go for the mother. <laughs> You know what let's just let's just make our intention megalodon i mean i would be so stoked I, I can't even tell you how i would feel if i found a meg tooth guys i have wanted to find a megalodon tooth since i was a little kid my grandparents used to bring me here to venice when i was little we literally used to come home with bagfuls of shark teeth like ziploc bags i'm not kidding like three or four bags full i mean that's how many shark teeth there used to be here now i don't think there's quite as many now but you know, they're, they're constantly washing up all the time. So we are gonna go ahead and turn on the Renanautica and we'll see you guys in a little bit. We're gonna switch over to the GoPro when we get to wherever it is it takes us. Um, but we'll see you guys in a couple minutes. Ready to Randy? We're so close. All right guys, it looks like we're getting pretty close. It's weird, it looks like residential, but I mean, Venice is the shark tooth capital of the world, so, you know, I mean, pretty much wherever it takes us, I can imagine we'll find something. All right, saying go left here. A lot of traffic, but it's not horrible. All right, so it's taking us back this road here. Of familiar we actually used to visit venice quite frequently lisa and i did we were going to live here at one point it's been a long time we were here what maybe a couple months ago you guys came with us goes the golf cart train <laughs> i don't think we would find any shark teeth at the golf course i mean it's possible Anything is possible. It's definitely looking beachy back here, guys. That's a good sign. I hope that's where it's taking us because that's where we're going to end up, let me tell you. I want to get to digging in the sand and try to find us some treasures. What's this say up here? Oh, Casperson Beach check it out oh my gosh that's crazy this must be it this is where it's taking us yeah. and look what's on the freaking sign giant megalodon there is a shark tooth on that sign guys it's almost like randonautica tracks where you go with your gps or something look at that water oh my gosh it's gorgeous This looks a lot like um, Castaway Key, doesn't it? I mean, the water's not as pretty blue, but it's pretty. Don't get me wrong, it's blue this year. Look at that water. I could almost guarantee you there would be some stuff there by the jetties. But the only problem with jetties is it's very jagged. Wow, it's so pretty. They got their shark tooth sieve out there. All right, guys, so we are here at the beach and we have our shark tooth hunting tools. We're so excited. We're gonna see what happens. I have a feeling we might get lucky today, we think. Yeah, well, I hope so. Everybody is out here with scoops too. I mean, you know, we did get lucky last time with the uh, Randonautica when we found our lottery ticket. So I'm hoping it stays consistent. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we can fill this up. Yeah, let's fill up <laughs> our shark tooth container. Let's go. let's go. There's our playground, guys. That is today's playground. I'm so excited, I can't wait to get started. Wait, is that a shark tooth? 
There's a tiny one. Looks like it. That one. Oh, Alright, put it in the container. It's in my hair. Oh, here, put it in the container. That was a freaking sharp tooth. Very first try. Dang it. There's some. Black things. Nope. for some more shark teeth. We're finding a couple. Well, it's hard to see really what's in the what's in the jar, but finding them. So just came up from the beach, Jen. Has been working the shark teeth sifter and we got a lot of them. She didn't both of us were checking it. So I'm gonna just see what we caught here. There's our shark teeth. Uh it's not all of them. I still have some in the jar here but these are awesome and I have some shells I got a pretty good variety of sizes this is our biggest one right here beautiful here's our view so gorgeous out here today 